Right, this is guide one on how to use a Raspberry Pi with XVMC or Kodi um, with a fast USB 3 install but with Wi Fi. So, um, I'm sure you're familiar, you've already found out, no doubt, that a Raspberry Pi, a standard, uh, the B version, the original B, um, not the B, plus because that actually comes with four ports. So, this is for the older B style ones. You actually have two USB ports, which is a little bit of a drawback because it means that uh, you're going to need one port for your USB stick for your install and you're going to need one for um, your receiver so you've got like a receiver for the uh, the remote of your choice um, so that's uh, well, it's, uh, that's a radio frequency RF uh, receiver that one there so that would go in there and then obviously you've got no more spare ports However, simple workaround is, what we can do is you're going to need a good quality, and it has to be a good quality, again with the Raspberry Pi, there's so many things that can go wrong, um, this being one of them, just one of many, um, there's so many different components that you can buy that can actually make a massive difference um, on the stability of the system, but uh, getting a very good quality micro USB cable um, is a must okay so we need one of those we need a powered USB hub and um, and we're also going to need a little Wi-Fi dongle obviously a little USB Wi-Fi dongle now let's go through how to set this up because actually um, a lot of people go wrong with this and they wonder why it's not working so I'm just going to grab my power so this is the power cable that comes with this particular USB hub. This particular one here is by a company called New Link. Um, there you go, you can see a green light is on. And uh, by the way, it wasn't very expensive, uh, but do your homework because I've not found many USB hubs that actually work um, with the Raspberry Pi. The most pro uh, common problem is that they back feed power. Now what that means is, let's have a look here, let's pop that in there right way up okay so that's that's a USB cable so that's actually going to go to our Pi so we've got our Pi if we pop that in the USB slot the right way up again <laughs> we should find that there's no power going to the Pi so if you can see there there's no lights on that's a good thing that's what we want to happen if it was showing as power coming on uh, we'd be in trouble basically it would be sending power through to the uh, Pi which we really really don't want um, and that will cause lockups and all kinds of uh, problems on your Pi uh, if you are uh, experiencing that problem with the power going through you can do a mod and you can cut the USB cable and you can uh, just um, uh, attach the USB section back on splice the cables back together but um, but not connect the power one. Uh, there's guides on that um, on, on the forums. So once we've got that in, we get our good quality um, USB cable. And that then goes in the other USB slot. Sorry, I've done it now. I was going to show you what goes wrong, what a lot of people do wrong, and I've done it myself. So that actually goes, that actually goes in, right, so we've got the one coming out of the uh, USB hub, that goes in the Pi, doesn't matter which slot, any will do. We've got the USB stick with all our data on, brilliant. That goes in there. I always put it in the Pi, I mean you could use the hub, um, I just find as it's storing system files, I want it to be as rock solid as possible. So I put it directly into the Pi itself. Um, and then we need to power the Pi. Now this is optional, this bit. This is, uh, you know, you could externally um, power the Pi as well. But I find if you've got a decent uh, hub, which should be outputting at 5 volts steady, because uh, USB hubs should do that, which is great. Um, you know, you can use the hub to actually power it. So we use our good quality cable, pop that in there, and then we can just power it straight off of one of these slots here. And as you can see, can you see that? Yeah, the power light is on. 
So that's great. And then we've obviously got whatever USB uh, things we want to put in. So I've got the Wi-Fi dongle there. I've got the um, the dongle for the uh, remote in there. And then we've got a spare one as well. So you could even put an extra hard drive in or something like that. Um, so that's it really. That's how to connect up Wi-Fi with a USB um, fast install on your Pi um, with the USB hub. So um, that's possibly the simplest method. I'll do another guide on how to use the IR mod as well. Thanks for watching.